Hey, how you doing today? This is a follow-up video on my drum switch wiring to show you a few things I learned the hard way, of course. Um, in the other clip I said something about using some Romex, like solid Romex. That's, that was a joke. I learned that the hard way. So I used like 16 gauge, some scrap cord that I believe came off a skill saw, circular saw, and it's, yeah, 16 gauge stranded. And if you can see in here, this was really hard to do on this motor. It's just a quarter horse, Marathon Electric from Wausau, Wisconsin. It's got a weak starting torque, which is going to be annoying. But I'll try it like this for a while and see see how I like it. At least it reverses, so that was what I was wanting. But I used two, term two fork type terminals wiring this my black hot which it switches back and forth but I didn't use a terminal on it it's right there if you can see it my, my white called neutral has a fork terminal on it and here but it's so tight it's kinda of bent backwards and just uh, this stud was not long enough it made a serious pain I had to use both these type so 11 30 second nook drivers the deep one for the longer stud and then the shallow one. Um, then the ground I used this fork terminal right here and of course soldered both of those. Crimped them good and soldered them both on as best I could. So it was time consuming. So now no matter how long you think it's going to take, add some time onto that. Let me plug it in real quick. Let's see, let's see if I can get me a good love bite going here. And uh, up here, I was able to get away with not using terminals. There's a little more room, I guess, but I tried soldering, and that helped a little, but my solder is not flexible. It just kind of crumbles. So anyway, just using these center terminals, there's my black and my white over here. Black hot, feeding it on, is on the bottom, and then neutral white was on the top and then just using those center terminals. These, this terminal here and that one don't get used on this. And also I ground, used a ground, I replaced this original short little screw with a longer flathead type right here. So it's easier to ground it here than way up here. But uh, anyway, the original wire awful it all crumbled I don't know if it overheated or is super old or both but it all was crumbling like this and the outer jacket was fine so it's weird it's this was 16.4 type SJ 300 volt with these little crown I don't know what uh, brand name that is I'm not familiar with but check what they did on the drum switch they use some kind of solder that's flexible and mine is not mine is 60-40 Rosen core stuff, 3 30 second. Uh, so if you know what kind of this flexible solder is, uh, drop me a note because that might come in handy sometime. But I'll do a quick demo. It's not that spectacular. <clears throat> Just to show you it works. Which this week starting torque is going to be a pain. Have to help it start. That's about it. Have a good day. Keep rocking.